Uh, welcome to the second chapter of the tree bark tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do in this part of the tutorial is that we're going to take a photogrammetry scan of a tree bark, uh, like the one you're seeing right here on your screen, and we're going to bake the textures using Substance Designer, effectively creating base channels for our material creation. In the next two videos, I will go through two methods of finalizing the tileable material. Uh, first, we're going to move the textures to Substance Alchemist, uh, where we're going to polish them in a similar way as we did in Chapter 1. Second method will showcase a similar process, but using Substance Painter. We can achieve comparable results no matter what process we choose. Fourth and the final video in this chapter is the bonus one, and it will focus on how to actually create the photogrammetry mesh that we used for extracting the textures, using a free tool called 3D Zephyr. As before, all the assets that we are using in this chapter are provided, so you can try it out for yourself. Let's start by switching to Substance Designer. Uh, start a new project, and since we are only doing some baking, uh, we don't need any templates for now. An empty project will work for now just fine. Give it some sensible name and save it. Import the assets that came from the photogrammetry process. That's the high poly scan data, corresponding 16K texture, and the low poly model that we will use to transfer uh, the bake. Import and link the assets, but give Substance Designer some time to process everything, especially the high poly mesh, which is around 5 million polygons. Just to make myself perfectly clear, you don't have to import the high resolution model in your Substance project, as you can only load it during the baking process. Uh, I just wanted to import it here, so I could quickly show you how it looks before we start baking. Inside of the resource folder of your project, you will see all the imported assets. This is the low poly object. As you can see, it's a very simple cylinder without any caps on top or in the bottom. If you put on a checker map, you will see how the UVs are distributed from 0 to 1, top to bottom, and all around. The reason why this is not a perfect trace cylinder, but it already has some shape to it, well, if you look at the high resolution model, you would want to remove these big shapes uh, from the bake so that they are not represented in a displacement map. Uh, because if they are, then the texture would be less versatile. That's why I conformed the low poly object slightly to the shape of the original high poly one. The scan model has a lot of mesh data. You can drag and drop the texture uh, into the base color and check the outcome of the photogrammetry. The texture that comes from the photogrammetry scan, even though it's 16K, has very bad texture density in UVs. That's why I exported the biggest tech texture that I could, because we're going to bake down to a nice UVs of the low poly object. Which is the next thing we're going to do. So, how do you bake in Substance Designer? The process of baking is straightforward uh, to an extent. Go to the Resources folder, select the Export Low Model, right-click and click on the Bake Model information. What you're going to be presented with is this big but very powerful baking pop-up. This is where you set up all your baking processes and all the bakers that you want to bake. Quick overview. Uh, we are baking from this material. Here is where we plug all our high-definition models. We can either add it from resources or if you haven't imported it as a high-poly mesh, you can select it from files on your hard drive. Since it's already in our resources, I'm just going to select it from there. These are the settings that we're going to use and the default values. We will be baking the highest possible resolution, that is 8K PNG with a 4x4 subsampling. We will add three bakers. Uh, first one is the height map from mesh. When it says from mesh, it means it's going to read the high definition model right here. Then let's add normal map from mesh. And the last one, the last baker that I want to add is the transfer texture from mesh. What is unique for this baker is that you also need to specify which texture it's transferring. So select the 16K photogrammetry texture from the resources, or select the file if you haven't imported it. In the output mode, select them as linked because I want these files saved where the substance graph actually is. You can see the folder and the file names right here. We are ready to go, so let's start the render and see what we get. In the background, Substance Designer is going to start importing and processing all the assets that are necessary for this bake. We can see the real-time rendering preview here on the right-hand side. A couple of minutes later, the bakes are done, and but there are some errors. Like the holes in normal map and in the height map as well. 
This was my mistake. Uh, being overconfident, I just started banking immediately in full resolution without checking it if my settings are good enough. Uh, never mind. Sometimes this is how you learn. To fix this, we are just going to increase the distance values a little bit to make sure all the pieces of the high poly model are transferred as they should. Cranking the distance to 0.05 should work, so let's bake again. After a couple of more minutes, the bakes are done, and increasing the distance values did the trick. The bakes are out and they are looking good. Let's manually check them one more time just to make sure uh, there are no visible errors. Load the bake textures into the viewport in their appropriate channels, set the viewport material to use the tessellation, and set the tessellation factor and height value to check uh, the material in all of its glory. This looks rather good if you ask me, especially if we switch to iRay with all the nice shadows and details. I think this is quite nice for a low poly object with bake displacement. So we can stop admiring the, the bakes and actually make a tileable material now. Save the project and we are done with Substance Designer and with baking. All the textures are already exported in the folder where we saved our Substance Designer file, as you can see here. So, to recap, we imported the scan data and the low poly bake object into an empty Substance Design project. Then, we baked the displacement map, normal map, and transferred the base color texture. In the next step, we're going to head back to Substance Alchemist, bring out our baked textures there, and make a tile material out of them. See you there.